Alright, listen, yeah. welcome back. This oh, is still Whiskey. My name's Rich. On. I'm Vince. I'm Devin. And today we crack into Penelope Architect build number three. Let's go. Finished in French. Oh, stays! Couple things to know about Penelope. Penelope is a MGB product out of Indiana. Um, in fact, they are such a good MGP product um, that MGP bought Penelope yep. for a whole bucket of money. Yeah, bucket of money. And Penelope, I'll be honest, Penelope put out some great product. They're black labels, they're dark gray labels, the charred, um, yeah, and their Rise, toasted. All of their toasted product, yeah. they're so good. So yep. good. And this, this week we've got a Penelope Architect French oak steved finish. Yeah. Straight bourbon whiskey. Is this the same one that I have that I got in Texas? Do you remember? Uh, I think you four? have a different build number, yeah. Mine four? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So French oak staved is similar to kind of what you'd see with Makers, uh, makers on their mm -hmm. private selects, on their wood finishing. Yep. Um, and so there's taking staves, which is just pieces of wood from French oak <laughs> and throwing it in the barrel, letting it finish and see how it turns out. Um, there is a very cool little diagram in the back that says, oh, this one has more persistency and oak integration and structure. Fruit on the palate, apparently. It's the blueprints from the it's architect. It's very cool, yeah. from the architect. Yeah. It's clever, it's very clever. And I think that's what has built out Penelope to why MGP bought them, is because like? they took bourbon, which they've done really well at taking barrels of MGP, which is, I mean, anyone could take it, the MGP, right? And yeah. they, But they've found ways to finish things well, but also market it. They yeah. market like, They market great. I mean, they if do. you look at some of their bottles, like it's a good, good looking bottles yeah. that are very recognizable. Yeah. And sure. it's not just that, like the whiskey is good in them. And the guys are great. Like I've seen lots of videos look at the way they do with it. the different um, yeah. just nice. distillers great. and the owners of Penelope. Like, they are great guys. They love working, um, just doing this, finding bourbon that tastes great and finding finishes that are great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're all, yep. They're yep. great. It's good I have stuff. a bunch of them. And the rye is also very, very good. Yeah, their toasted, I think has been some of my favorite. I remember when we first tried oh one of the gosh. first toasted, it was, it was, you know. Higher proof as well. It was, it was, last, really, really it was last October. I think it was, it was we, were doing some, we were doing, I think, a birthday thing for me and one of our buddies. And it was I brought that and I had to take it away from everyone before it got drank all of it. Yep. That's yeah. because I would have drank it all. You would have. Yep. What do we think of uh, Architect? I think the, the idea is very mm -hmm. clever. I think the branding is very clever. Mm -hmm. um, um, you I think pulling them as builds instead of batches is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yep. Macadamia. Macad macadamia nut. I don't know if I know my nuts well enough to... <laughs> like a macadamia nut cookie? Mm. Oh, okay. So... It's like a white... I don't know if I would know that as separate to a different... Type. Recently, I went to Kauai and I brought you back some macadamia, chocolate covered macadamia nuts. I have nuts. not got into those. In yeah. fact, I left them in the kitchen earlier and I'm slightly concerned that they and may not be there yeah. when I get back. <laughs> if you find them, you should try them and then see if it's close to what he's saying. Am I, am I out of my mind? I, that's what I'm smelling. So if I remember the macadamia nut, it was it's more. Ooh. What is it's it's like a. Oh, it's good. It's it's a, the it's the texture of like peanut, but it's not as salty and mm -hmm. sweet. It's got more of that earthy like, I don't know. This yes, they're really smooth. Yeah, they're very. This almost has a floral to it, like a light touch of floral. Um, what proof is this? Oh. This is 104. Hmm. That's a good. 104. Doesn't come, yeah. come across too hot. No. The cool thing about these two is you can get store picks of them. So I have a couple store picks. Oh, of the architects? These. Mm -hmm. And so what they do oh, wow. is they do build number 3.5 or oh, 3.4 sure. like or whatever, right? Wow. You know? And so, um, so you get the same feel of most okay. of it, but then you're picking your own barrels, right? They're obviously picking the barrels. They want to name a uh, label as sure. number three or whatever sure. things that are consistent there. But yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's quite light. It is light. It's an easy, it's a easy for 104. It's quite light. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a story. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Here comes a flavor profile, everyone. I love how you have to preface it with. <laughs> it's like a raising hand. I have a story. <laughs> Teacher, can I tell my story? All right, come on, let's story. have it. I if was this, if this ends about in a 7 product. six or seven years old, mm. and I had a t-shirt with T-Rex. Okay. Uh, actually, it was, a, it was like a sweatshirt, but it was white mm -hmm. with a green. It wasn't T-Rex, but it was a dinosaur. And that said something. I don't remember what it said. And we went on a walk. Me and my sister, we came across a plum tree. And then we had a plum battle. We were throwing plums at each other. <laughs> my white, my white sweatshirt was completely purple. That's awesome. And so I had plum, shot. I had plum, she was very, she, I got her real good. Like <laughs> I was younger and she did dominate. And I had plum <laughs> on my face. I had plum everywhere. Everything was all plummy. This sounds awesome. It reminds me of that day. Because of the plum? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I ate a little bit of that. The smell it's, or the taste? It's just very uh, light. Both, but actually mostly the taste, but it is on the nose as but well. But it is very light though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a white grape, approachable, but not, not astringent, not bitter. Mm -hmm. I like it's it. not, you know, I, because it's French staved, you may think it's like similar to what Maker's Mark is doing, but because Maker's Mark is a weeded, it's a weeded right. Weeded. It's got a different com like combination of sure, the two. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah, it's just it's you know they talk about it on the back and it's quite well balanced. Yeah, I get a little bit of the, like grape skins. Like that's to me like sure. kind of the thing I get like the the grapiness. I don't get like the sweetness of the grapes. I just get that. Um, just like you have the, you've eaten the grape, you got a grape skin that's stuck in your tooth. Sure. Right? And like you find it later and then you're just eating a grape skin. Like, well, I think that, and I like fridge. to do that. I like to, to eat the grape, like, and get, all, and then just kind of gnaw on the skin. Mm. That's what oh. I'm Did you ever peel the grapes? Like, yes. Back in the day, like when you mm. wanted to make like, like simulation eyes, like they did like Halloween stuff. Like you do like Halloween stuff. No, you, you lost. peel the grapes. No, no. no. That's just you, man. I just, okay. yeah. Okay. You never did those things where like you'd make like a bowl of like what it would be like for spooky eyes or whatever. You would peel grapes and then they'd have that nice squishy feel. No? Hmm. All right. No, if like you ever did that sounds as like a kid, thing. you know. <laughs> um, know it was Washington, but sure. Right. Whatever. Um, but yeah, like a, like a light honey, um, very, very approachable, but more floral than I expected, I think. Penelope always has a bit of a floral edge to it, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily, well, hold on. Outside yes, of? Yes, outside of their toasted. Yes, yeah. Because their, their cask strength one, the red one does. Um, what so is the yes. one that you got me around took a Christmas time? Takashi or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that was good. I know, you've almost finished I it. To, I had to stop, I haven't had to eat a lot of that. Yeah, he realized that, oh, this was a limited thing <laughs> and I should not drink all of it. <laughs> Were you it was, crushing it? I was crushing it. I don't know if I had it. Yeah. That one, so uh, this is not sponsored in any way, but Liquor Depot in Tampa, if you're anywhere in the Tampa area or you're visiting, go find them. They have some of the best store picks. They do mm. Penelope's, they do tons oh. of things. Like it's a great it's a great store and the people are great. They have like they have like cards where like as you buy different picks, you after you fill up the card, like it's a buy one, get one type thing. Oh, that's cool. Like yeah, so Go check them out, Liquor Depot in Tampa. Like I also love store picks, just in general. Like yep. I love having, it could be as simple as a Buffalo Trace. Yep. yep. Buffalo Trace store pick? Oh, now I'm interested. Mm -hmm. yep. Because I love the, yeah. the slight different But the things that they fit, the ones that they have, I have an arc, I have an architect from them, okay. from Liquor Depot. Okay. Um, you have a store pick, you have a store pick. Um, yeah, no, yeah. like they've come up with some good stuff. So in the Tampa area, check out Liquor Depot, well worth the, the visit to their store. What All right, guys, what do you guys think? Great. Here's, here's what I'm gonna say. I really like it. It's not as lights out as I thought it was gonna be, but I really like it. Um, uh, I'm going to give it a B. Hmm. Uh, price on this is what? 65. Six, okay, 65. Yeah. So for me, I'm gonna go with a probably an ooh, B plus. So I was gonna go A minus, but then I went B plus. Um, I really like the proof. I like how approachable it is. Um, I like that it's well balanced, right? That that sweetness offset with the 
the oak. Um, but it's just not as complex. Mm. It's not as robust as their toasted series. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we really like anything toasted. True. Like, so in a sense, if, if, if I had never had a Penelope product and I was trying this, I'd be like, oh, this is amazing. This is an A yeah. or maybe an A plus. Yeah. But because I've had Penelope mm -hmm. toasted and toasted rye, and they're they're phenomenal. Yeah, it makes me go. This is really good. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. sure. Um, would I be upset to own it? No, not at all. Yeah, and you know, the mash bill could be a piece set too. This is a four grain mash bill. Oh yeah, yeah. And mm. so like it's gonna have a little bit different. Like we've had some of the other four grains that they have. Um, so that's gonna change a little bit. I think for me, mm. a B plus is an easy grade mm. for it. Like it's. Something that I could go drink to, um, always. And the fact that it's a different release, right? They're gonna sure. have a build, they have a build four out. I think I was gonna they say might be should, on build five. We should do a side by side of the three and the four. Yeah, cause you point. have the four, I think right mm -hmm. now. I think they're on five right now. Yeah. Um, I'm here um, for it. Yeah. You should yeah. get the five. It's one of those limited things that <laughs> if you get this bottle, you're not gonna be upset. Like it's, no. it's a bottle yeah. that you're just not gonna be upset with. Yeah. It's price point, it's easy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good looking, different it's than, good. Other things and so yeah. yeah. There you go. But anyway, yeah. this is still whiskey. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You. Hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss this. Yep. I mean, we love you. We appreciate you. We love and you. And we'll see you. <laughs>